Welcome back to part three of my Amir Jakob Seferid game. Uh, we just managed to get a new vassal after they broke away from the Arabian Empire. Uh, we're going to look to keep expanding westward uh, after we can get Herat, hopefully. They don't join the Tahirids. <clears throat> Probably going to be going to war against the Tahirids again eventually. Uh, I'm trying to understand why I only have access to Holy War for County. Maybe we need to raise our level of devotion, but usually it'll at least display it here still. Might have something to do with our struggle mechanic, I'm not too sure. Uh, this guy keeps asking to become househead. I'm just going to keep saying no. I don't think so. Uh, the Arabian Empire is still in trouble. Only 3k troops, they're losing two different wars. Uh, not very big wars, but at least they're keeping him weak. I think one of the next things that I'm going to do is head on a Hajj to Mecca. So I'm just going to keep an eye on what the price is here. Looks like we can actually already afford it. Um, it's a bit of a tumultuous journey though if we don't grab some probably desert warriors and mercenary guards. Yeah, that, that makes it a lot better. <clears throat> 180. Okay. I'll go into a little bit of debt. That's fine. Let's just go. <clears throat> Disdain for heathens. Uh, yeah, let's get a negotiate alliance with our nephew. He'll be Duke there eventually, so that's fine. Uh, let's just raise control on our brother's capital, I guess. Three months? Oh, it's pretty good, though. Let's just do it. There's no rush. Uh, so for whatever reason, his capital is down here. It's actually interesting. It's a lot more accessible than when it's over here somewhere. Wow, he just lost a lot of land. That's really good for us. He keeps getting weaker and weaker. That's really, really lucky, I think. <clears throat> I just need to get my level of devotion and level of fame up enough to actually uh, start to declare like significant wars. I, I'm not trying to take single counties off these. Uh, and also, getting our level of fame and devotion up is going to make them more likely to just um, become our vassals. Deccan in India. No, I think I'm going to hold on to the gold for the uh, event here. Uh, part of our Hajj. So we are entering into stabilization somehow, which is, I think, the pro-caliphate one, um, which is kind of odd since the caliphate doesn't really seem like it's doing very well. Sure. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, we can take a bit of stress here. Mostly doing this to load up on as much piety as possible. And makes everyone like you. Getting the Hajj trait. Uh, 63 camels. This is kind of what I want to save up for. Gives us a ton of opinion. Prestige, yeah, we gotta do it. A little bit of debt, but it's okay. There we go. So we were making like three gold not too long ago, and now it's up to 6.8. Getting your vassals to like you in uh, clan government is really, really important. So he's still in charge here. He's still pretty weak. Um, this seems, seems to move very, very quickly. I think we're trying to get it into concession, but it seems like it really just wants to go back and forth between unrest and stabilization.
Whoa. Find an old artifact. 32% I get ill. Or we can just take the prestige. Yeah, let's just do this. Oh, come on. Okay, whatever. Almost back home, and we're almost at Paragon of Virtue just from that one pilgrimage. Jeez. Okay. So this guy is my brother. Yeah, we can be friends. That's good. Really, really close. Uh, pretty good on our level of fame as well. I think I might actually make up this duchy title. Uh, we can get it to this guy. He'll like us even more. It'll give us some prestige. So I'll probably save up for that next. I'd rather make duchy titles and give them out than go hunting or something like that for uh, prestige. I, I would like to get a court gardener and stuff like that. Oh, this, they changed this. It gives you stewardship bonus now. That's really nice. Interesting. Um, but I'm just a little bit too short on income to start paying for some of these more expensive jobs, I think. I'm going to try to avoid that. My sons are getting close to the age where we're going to start to get them personality traits. we still have the alliance with this guy? We do. So, he's not... He had a son, but he passed away. Um, so my wife is just going to inherit this. So eventually, this land will just become ours. We don't have to really worry about conquering it ever. Uh, and whenever she gets it, we can just... Um, have our other wife here. <laughs> so we're not going to lose our wife. It's pretty good. Um, I guess I could do this. People keep scheming against me, so this is going to help, and it also makes my knights stronger. I'll let them worry about their own control. As long as my direct holdings are max control level, I think that's fine. Wow, this guy's got 39. That's insane. So I'm not even converting, and these things are getting converted without me. Maybe we'll do it here, since it's ours. It's only two years. Um, so these guys are Ashari at war. Why not you? Cultural acceptance, not his rightful liege. My claim is illegitimate. Excuse you? My claim to what? That's weird. Uh, yeah, we're not too far away from this. So we can't take it during this struggle phase, but like it's already almost halfway through the phase. So once we go back to Unrest, we can start to uh, expand again. There's Gallant. Um, I think I'm just going to hop over into Learning. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's what I usually do. I don't know if I need the extra piety, so I'll just take the development growth. The health boost isn't bad either. We're kinda, we are kind of want to live on this character for a while. Um, but I think Scholarship Focus is just the best here overall. We're already halfway to a point. This is a bit of an eyesore, but we'll t <laughs> it'll get dealt with eventually. Okay, so I don't need to sway him anymore. Uh, we can go back to learning Arabic, I guess. 95%. And then maybe we'll, we will learn um, what's it called, Turkic as well. So our son gets compassionate, arrogant, or callous. Uh, callous is not great for the diplomacy. We could go compassionate. Arrogance not bad either. The prestige is probably going to be useful. Uh, it's pretty close here. I think just for getting people to like us more, compassionate is going to be better. Because uh, if we can't do it on our current character, we're going to be doing it on one of our two sons. Um, hopefully trying to get these guys to submit to our kingdom uh, without going to war with them. How close on Persia? Just three counties. 
It'll be absolutely perfect if I can just conquer this duchy and then get the rest of them to submit to me. Okay, so there's our level of fame. Uh, so now we can declare the conquer duchy as soon as we get out of this phase, which is going quite quick, so that's good. Ooh, 86, jeez. Let's hope this works. Aha, I tricked her, perfect. So this guy is a different one, different faith. These two are both Ashari though. My brother-in-law and rival. How are you my brother-in-law? You married my sister-in-law. Ah, okay. So he married this guy's other daughter. So we're kind of brother-in-law in-law. Will he fight us? 100% yes. He's got 15 prowess. What's mine? 28. Should I fight him? I gotta do it one time, I think. Low injury, high success. Okay, that's a great one. Low injury, medium. Yeah. Medium high. Yeah. Low medium. There we go. I am victorious. So he gains stress and he gains. He got a wound that got healed, I think. Perfect. that. Aha, uh -huh. what did we get now? Okay, so now my wife has finally gotten this, so she'll just become my vassal. It's perfect. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be giving my wife as a vassal to my rival. I think it's, I think it's fine though. Um, I'll get it back eventually and then I can just give the land to whoever, because it's going to go to my heir. Uh, so it's it's all the same eventually. Now this is interesting. We have a new succession law that I didn't even notice. So our land is all going to our firstborn son. We don't even have to worry about our second son right now. Because we are up in harmonious. So we have harmonious succession. The lion's share of titles will go to your player heir. The rest will be divided between your children. Okay. Uh, that's totally fine. I'm curious if we get another duchy title or another kingdom title, how that's going to change, because I'm not familiar with this. Uh, we can find out. So I think I'm going to go forgiving with him. Uh, I just want to make some likable rulers, so whoever I end up playing, people are going to like quite a bit. And yeah, I'm going to go with pedagogy here. Open-minded is going to be great for getting these people to offer to be our vassals. I would like to get Know Thyself as well. Apostate is actually pretty good too. Uh, and then after I spend some time in here, I might go and just get defensive negotiations really quick too. Uh, between defensive negotiations and open-minded, these random vassals are going to like us a lot more than they currently do. Uh, so as soon as we're out of this, I'm going to declare this war first, I think. Because as soon as we get this duchy, we can make the Kingdom of Persia as well. I do have a claim here. Interesting. I can actually declare that war, so maybe I should do that. Uh, content, fickle, and trusting. I think I'll go trusting. Yeah, that's not too bad. Righteous empath. Uh, so this should be a pretty easy war for me to just deal with. For whatever reason, I can press my claims, but I can't conquer Duchy. Three twenty-five prestige. That's fine. Whoa, that was a really obnoxious noise. Hopefully, they, hopefully they change that. Uh, so we'll get our friend over here.
And let's see if we can't take Gur. I'm not sure how I got this. I didn't ever notice. I have four duchy claims, that's really odd. Cool. Uh, so where's he going? Looks like he's dealing with his other war for now. Convert faith. So I'm not holding that one, right? Oh, I am holding this one. Okay, so let's convert the ones that we're holding. Oh, I have an incredibly high uh, quality army right now, apparently. Okay, so there's Arabic. Um, I think this guy here, my rival, see he's not, he doesn't hate me as much anymore, only minus 40. Uh, if we learn his language, he'll like us more too. So hopefully we can find some harmony within our kingdom here. I still do want to get Harat. Who are you? Some random mayor becoming my rival. You're gone. So apparently having three sons doesn't change anything here on our succession either. This is going to give me a duchy title, so I'll be sure to see what it does to succession before I uh, give it away. I might just end up giving it to my second son, actually, we'll see. So here he comes. Probably go try to meet him. What's going on here? Oh, he took that county. Okay, not a big deal. Let's go try to catch him. That should be good. My notes? No, 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 no. Who are you and why are you doing this? Uh, he becomes my rival either way. 47 stress, 47 stress. I don't think this matters. Why? Why are you doing that? He's vengeful. Oh, nice. He's still uh, going for that. Okay, so that's going to get us all the entire war target. So let's just go up to his capital, I guess. Yeah, he might try to kill it. Oh, even though he's vengeful, he still only has five intrigue, so he's not too scary. Now that I'm aware of him... Oh, he died. Now that I'm aware of this guy, I might actually go in Holy War, because I'm pretty sure that's in my empire too. Yeah, it is. Uh, is it all one duchy? No, it's two. Unfortunate. Okay, so second son, uh, humble, content, both fine. I'll just give him content. I, I'm kind of planning on playing my first son right now as it is, so. Uh, should be getting ticks in our favor, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. And we have moved into unrest, which means that we can declare the wars that we want to declare now. There's that. Good old 90% ending. Okay. So we got that duchy title, but they all just became our vassals. Ah, okay. So he does get that now. I don't think I can give him the duchy title. I think I'll just give it to one of these guys. They're all not my religion, though, unfortunately. Um, this guy's actually the strongest. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get him to do that. Free all these other guys, and then I'm going to give him this duchy. Since he's the one that's fallen in my religion. And now that they're my vassals, I mean his vassals, and they can't use a hook on me, 
I'll just ask them to convert. Why can't I ask you? Okay. Oh, what's going on here? My wife is fighting in a liberty war against her liege. Why? Just... Yeah, like, he's gonna get... She's gonna get her land revoked. I guess that's not a big deal. Um, it'll just go to him anyways. Either way, it'll still be in my kingdom, in my realm. Uh, these guys have split up, actually. Tahirid's super weak. Arabia continues to just get massacred by revolts and, and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, everything's actually come together pretty well here. I think that we're going to be able to make our empire uh, in not too distant future. I'm going to be continuing this on in the next part. If you've enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.